Hey everyone, welcome back to another Dead Frontier video. Uh, I apologise for the background noise, everyone's home, uh, family and everything. Finally, it's a beautiful day. We finally have got an update to Dead Frontier 2. An actual content update, believe it or not. Update version 0 0.130, so it's, it's not a hotfix anymore, it's an actual update. Um, a large dedicated outpour PvP, uh, PvP zone, outpour? Outdoor PvP zone has been added to the map, the Scrubland. I don't like that name very much, and I don't like the fact that it's a PvP zone, but I don't really... It's it's content, so you know I'm, I'm quite I'm quite chilled about that. Menu opening now has been optimized. Uh, door sug bound was fixed. Uh, door sug bound. Where do I come up with this random shit when I'm reading stuff out? Door sound bug has been fixed. Bloody hell, that's pretty cool. We've got we've got a content update. I've actually recorded some gameplay of the Scrubland. I didn't actually fight anyone because I'm not in the mood for PvP, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So I just went in solo game, went into the uh, the Scrubland and had a little look around, but uh. Uh, we'll get into that in just a second. Coming soon, more content including new locations, weapons, enemies, and a higher level cap. Now, hopefully the higher level cap means that prestige is going to be removed because that stuff is driving me nuts. But, um, that's cool. That's really good. I appreciate the, uh, the little, uh, little knowledge that we're going to be getting some more stuff soon. Um, and more bug fixes, obviously. But, um, we've got a content update. It's nothing major. It's nothing really that impressive. It's just a, a little thing for people who want to PvP. PvP. So as you can see here, I'm just going to the car. Pretty standard stuff, really. Um, now, I didn't expect the Scrubland to be where it was on the map. Um, if you check the map here, the Scrubland is literally right next to Valvendale, which I didn't expect. But um, it's a level 20 zone, of course. I mean, why wouldn't it be? It's a PvP area. Um, it's, it's, uh, it, it's a really surprise, surprise to see this, to see just a massive forest area. Um, it's pretty cool. I like it over the... Um, the old Death Frontier 1 arena, simply because of the fact that there is a bit more, like, verticality, yeah, verticality to everything. Um, so it makes the makes the fighting a bit more chaotic, because obviously there's more more cover, technically, and you can just use the ground as cover if you're high. And if you're high up in the air, you can uh, get better shots, that kind of thing. Whereas the arena is obviously all one level and just kind of boring. But, um, yeah, I like it. I do like it. I might mess around with some people on PvP one time, just go in there and piss about, but uh, it's nice that we've got a, PvP, a PvP area. It's pretty expansive as well, it's probably the biggest area we've actually gotten in Death Frontier yet. I mean, obviously it's not that impressive when you really think about what it actually is, but um, it's fairly expansive for what it is, and uh, I, I like it, I do like it. But these are the kind of updates we need in the future, because the game is um, becoming very stale for me. Um, I'm enjoying it, well, I'm not enjoying it, let me just, well... I'm enjoying it to an extent. The problem is I'm not playing it. I, I've I've got other games to play, which doesn't help, obviously, but I'm just drained, you know? And I said this before in my other video, I am simply drained of this game. I don't intend to stop doing videos on it, obviously, because I want to, you know? It's my it's my thing. I really enjoy this game, and I, I want to I wanna see it see it thrive. Um, the the urge to play it is not really there anymore. The, the, the drive to get in there every single day and grind is just not there. And I think it's to do with the, uh, the uh, prestige system. It's driven me nuts, if I'm honest. I'm now level 9 prestige 2. And the problem with the game for me is that it's just unrewarding to prestige. I understand the whole point of prestige is to prestige and then you lose your stuff and everything. But it just isn't as rewarding as I would have liked. I think he really needs to work on that. Because it's the prestige system as it is, almost in a way, just punishes you for wanting to progress. You hit level 20, you hit prestige, and then you only get one extra skill point, which I don't think is as good enough as a reward as it could be, you know. They could have done what Call of Duty does and have, like, a permanent unlock token. <laughs> so that so that you could uh, permanently unlock a, an item, whether it's, like, a paramedics bag or... Permanently unlock something in your loot pool, or perhaps permanently unlock a, the ability to use something. Just something like that. Or giving you some sort of cosmetic that actually has an effect on... Not an effect, sorry. Um, a cosmetic that just has something cool, you know, just something like that. I don't know. But um, I I'm not stopping the DF2 stuff, because I know I haven't done many videos this month. Um, but it's mainly because I just haven't been playing the game, and I've been waiting for news. Um, so hopefully you'll have some more news soon uh, on different stuff, because uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to new content. I'm not really bothered about the PvP area, but um, uh, it's cool for people who want a PvP. So if you guys want a PvP, then go ahead. <laughs> You've got this area now. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's a very small update as well, which helps. But um, that's it for me. I really hope you uh, enjoyed this little, I'm about to say analysis, but it wasn't really analysis, it was just a piss take, wasn't it? But uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.